line integral. Any integral which is to be evaluated along a curve is called a line integral. It is denoted by integral over c f dot dr. Now the line integral is also known as total work done by the force. That is work done is equal to integral over c f dot dr. So the first problem, evaluate the integral, integral over c f dot dr, if f vector is equal to x y square i vector plus x square plus y square into j vector and c is the curve given by y equal to x square minus 4 from 2 comma 0 to 4 comma 12. So we have to evaluate the integral for the given function f vector over the curve y is equal to x square minus 4 from the two points. Okay, now this is a line integral. The given f vector, given function f vector is x y square into i vector plus x square my plus y square into j vector. And we know dr vector. dr vector is always dx i vector plus dy j vector. We don't want dz or if you, we can write, we can when you take that right, it becomes zero. So it's a two dimension, we don't want to take dz. So, but I want f dot dr. f dot dr means taking dot product between these two. i coefficient is multiplied with i coefficient, but i dot i1. So this becomes x y square into dx plus x square plus y square into dy. So this is f dot dr. And now the given curve, given curve is y is equal to x square minus 4 and which implies that dy is equal to 2x dx and the constant term 0. Okay, now I am going to take the given uh, integral, integral over c f dot dr is equal to integral over f dot dr value is, this is the value, so x y square into dx plus x square plus y square into dy over c. Okay, you see this is the line integral, that is single integral, but the integral function having two variables, so that we cannot integrate, because the single integral means we have only one variable, so that I want to convert it into single variable in terms of x, either in terms of x or in terms of y. But in this problem, in terms of y is easy compared to x, because if we convert in terms of x, integral function may be a little bit difficult. So in this problem, I am going to convert this integral function in terms of y. So for, from this given curve, I am going to put x value and dx value. Okay, so now you see the function, this can be written as dy by 2 is equal to x dx. So the integral this can be written as, the integral this can be written as, integral over x y square. You see y square you take as usual y square and remaining x dx. What is x dx here? dy by 2. So now it is dy by 2. And now plus x square. What is x square here? From this x square is y plus 4. Because take minus 4 here. So x square is y plus 4. So now plus y plus 4 plus y square into dy. Plus y square into dy. And now the in fun integral function is converted into in terms of y. So what the limit for y? Here the limit for y 0 to 12. Because in the point y value 0, in the point y value 12, so limit for y is 0 to 12. So it is 0 to 12. And now take dy term outside. So integral 0 to 12, this is y square by 2 plus y plus 4 plus y square into dy. So now I am going to integrating with respect to y. So this is y cube by 3, 3 2s are 6, and this is y square by 2, 
this is 4y constant integral into y and y square integral y cube by 3 the limit for y is 0 to 12 upper limit 12 lower limit 0 so now substituting upper limit 12 cube so 12 cube by 6 plus 12 square by 2 plus 4 into 12 plus 12 cube by 3 so now I am going to simplify 12 cube what is 12 cube it is 12 cube is 1728 by 6 plus 12 square 144 by 2 so 12 into 4, 4 into 12 48 and now again 12 cube is 1728 by 3 so now cancel it if you cancel this with the 6 you will be getting 288 cancel this 72 this is 48 cancel 3 we will be 576 add all the value you will be getting 984 which is the answer of the integral value of the given problem.